Watching a place you love change in ways that you don't love, it's difficult. A woman who grew up in Denver is trying to help all of us who moved here to see the city through her eyes. Mike Grady has her story. I've been here about 22 years in the heart of what we call the Highlands nowadays. In a part of Denver rife with change, West Side Books feels like home. You're not talking about Buckminster Fuller. Yeah, Bucky okay. Fuller. Okay. It's the bookstore to me, the only one. Kali uh, Fajardo Anstein started working here when she was 15. Um, I needed a job, a summer job, and Lois hired me. Lois is the owner. I always knew she was going to do something. It's so incredibly special to come into the bookstore where I used to sell customers' books and see my own book on the shelf. Her first book, Sabrina and Karina, came out Tuesday. And it follows the lives of Chicanas of indigenous ancestry from this area. A work drawn from her own experiences and research. I listen to a lot of oral histories. I interview elders. I look through historical documents and photographs. Breathing life into her stories. I'll read the beginning of Tommy. We lived on Denver's north side in the shadow of Mile High Stadium, a neighborhood that was now called Highlands. The only white people said that. She hopes new Denverites hear the perspective of a Colorado native. You know, the Rhino area, we never would have called it that. Um, I, I don't even know what low high is, but I know it's an area. It is a picture of what Denver is about and has been about. It's important to realize that there are people who live in a place before and they have a history that's attached to a place. And when you change the name of the place where the people come from, in a way you're erasing the history of the people who are already there. Kali puts her life in her work. And thanks for the mention in the book. It was pretty sweet and made me cry. Making sure Denver stays her hometown. And the acknowledgments, yeah. yeah. Aww, I didn't know that. For next. I didn't know anyone's reading the acknowledgments. <laughs> I'm Mike Grady. Collie launches her book Friday at Lighthouse Writers, of course, in Denver.